even out damaged my trundle. All right, Brogni, drop it. Oh! Brogni is literally the best fusion champion ever to come to Rage Shadow Legends, but not for the reasons that you might think. And no, we're not doing another Hydra Infinity comp. I have the best suggestion for you on how to build your Brogni so that you can stop dying all the damn time. Did you know that Brogni could smack? I mean, like, he can actually smack. He even out damaged my Trunda at one point. In fact, this came to my attention when I broke my personal record for Hydra using Under Priest Brogni. He did almost 45 million damage. That's insane. Now, I'm not saying that the other builds are trash. Holster Brogni is awesome. In fact, one of the things that makes Brogni the best fusion champion ever in raid is that he has so much exceptional general utility all around raid. However, I'm going to show you how to build him like an absolute goddamn savage. Alright, first, let's go ahead and take him into Arena. So I've been doing a lot of testing here. This is the team. We have Arbiter, Lydia, to place the decreased defense. And the Weaken. Uko, to do his thing here. I can personally guarantee that he does God's work. So let's go ahead. Let's do this manually. Show you guys. Increase attack. Let's place their skills on cooldown. That Mithrala needs more resist over there. Place the defense down and the weaken. Alright, now... Oh my gosh! One hit! Oh my god! He took down Harima and Arbiter in one hit. Wow! Alright, we got this next team here. Let's see how we do. Let's see uh, how Brogni brings the pain this time around. Block all those passives. All right, here it comes. And then here comes the A2. Here it comes. Boom! Oh my gosh. Did you see that? With the reflect damage, Rodos even took himself out. We took down Lydia. We took down Vogoth. Brogni's a savage, dude. And here comes the A2. Boom! Look at that. Marishka and Helicath just died. Okay, taking a look at Underpriest Brogni's multipliers, his A1 has a 6.5, and then his A2 has a 6.6 .6 multiplier. So when we take that and we compare it to somebody like Trenda, for example, somebody who was actually made to nuke, her A1 has a 1.85% attack, and her multiplier for her A2 only has a 6, and then her A3 has a 3 times multiplier. My Trenda's built like this, 5.4, attack 212 100 and 223 crit damage obviously not the best but i remind you guys that i don't have the best of, of anything i'm just a guy who likes to have fun and this is how my brogni's built so less attack less speed and maybe eight percent more crit damage we're gonna take them into the dungeon and we're going to do a side-by-side -side damage comparison between brogni and trunda okay we do the attack up here we're gonna place the decrease down and weaken Okay, it's all around. Let's do our A3 with a 6 multiplier. Then we're gonna leave. And we see that she did 573. Alright, so we're gonna take Trenda out. And then we're gonna go ahead and see how much damage Brogni does in comparison. And then we do the A2. And then we leave. And we'll see that Brogni actually did 656 in comparison to Trunda, who did 575. Now, you know, the arguments could be made that my builds aren't, you know, one for one, and I could do a gear swapping, like put Trunda's gear on Brogni or put Brogni's gear on, on Trunda. But I mean, you guys saw it that Trunda has more attack, and she only has a little bit less crit damage than Brogni. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check it one more time, just to be sure. Attack up, attack down, A3, and then we leave. Trying to doing 490 there. Attack up, attack down, or sorry, decrease defense and weaken. Oh darn, we're not supposed to be using trying to, uh, let's just, um, a1 then. Brogni's A2. 
and we'll see. So Tronda even took some of his damage, his potential damage, because he he she did the A1 because I forgot to take Trenda out. But he still did more damage than than Trenda. So let's let's do an entire run with just them and let's auto it and just see how it goes. Whoa, what was that? Rogni hit, <laughs> Rogni hit it so hard, the game froze. Okay, so here are the results. Trunda is keeping us honest. She's still saying that she's the queen of damage. She put out... 2.1 almost 2.2 for dps and then brogni did just about half of that now i will remind you guys that trenda is designed her character is built to do damage and brogni is not really designed to be a damage dealer he's designed to be a support general utility thing but for brogni to still take up this chunk of damage do half of what trenda did was still amazing to see and if you're struggling in hydra You've already seen what my Brogni can do in my new record. So we're going to go ahead and throw him in Hydra again. All right, so here we are. This is the team. We're going to go ahead and see the damage difference between Brogni and Trunda. Now, I'm sure even in Hydra, Trunda is going to be the absolute queen, but I'm pretty sure Brogni is, no sla is not going to be slacking either. Let's do that. There you go. Trying to doing her thing. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna set this up, and then I'm gonna let the run go on auto, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I paused it here because Brogni just got eaten, so I'm gonna end the battle here. Let's see what the damage. Okay, we can still free regroup. The damage obviously is Trenda is the MVP here, but um, Brogni was actually able to keep up with Razzlevarg. In terms of damage, the only reason Razzlevarg was able to do more is one, because he's in a Relentless set, and two, because I had let it run uh, a few extra turns before I realized, oh, Brogni got eaten. But as you can see, Brogni has the potential to be a great damage dealer, as well as doing other things for you in Hydra as well. So we're going to free regroup that, I'll do that later. Not the optimal team. I pretty much threw it on auto and, and left it to its own devices. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm going to show you guys how I have my Brogni built. Of course, Savage Cruel Set. I built him as a nuker. I will show you all the pieces of gear that I have. We prioritized attack, crit damage basically. General nuker stuff, pretty much. Attack percent boots, attack percent. I would have liked crit damage gloves. I would have had to move pieces around and I honestly don't like moving too many pieces around because it, it just kind of gets annoying. But there's that and there's that crit damage and the amulet and the attack. If you're going to be building Savage Brogni, these are the stats that I would recommend you try to aim for. 5k attack, 220 minimum speed. Of course, more is better. That's, you could be said about anything. 100% crit rate no doubt and then at least a minimum of 250 crit damage the more you have obviously the better but those are the stats i'd be looking for if i wanted to really build them like a nuker but again i'm not going to move a bunch of gear around for that here are the masteries that i took you could go down here to helm smasher but i just wanted to go for crit, extra crit damage and then here i went down for sniper do not blindly copy masteries but you can if you want to. This works for me. However, if you don't want to build Brogni like a savage and you prefer to use him as a general utility support champion, check this video out.